I'm Cam Wyland. Sooner or later, most authors feel the constraints of opening a story in Medea's race, when we know readers won't fully comprehend events unless we've first given them an understanding of the important backstory that preceded the opening. But by the same token, we've all read stories that opened with backstory, and bored us out of our socks. So what's a clever writer to do? We could do worse than to follow Ernest Hemingway's masterful example in his classic short story, The Short Happy Life of Francis Macomber. The story, about a rich, ineffective man on a safari hunt with his spiteful wife, opens smack in the middle of things. The very first line, which tells us it was now lunchtime, and the characters were pretending nothing had happened, lets us know something important has preceded the opening. Hemingway immediately hooks readers with curiosity, then plunges head-on into his story. Not until ten pages later does he slow down enough to explain the important backstory. In this case, the main character's cowardice in the face of a wounded lion. Had Hemingway dumped the backstory at the beginning, readers would have no way of understanding how important this initial event was. But because he first took the time to engage their curiosity and raise the stakes, readers were not only willing to sit through his backstory, they were champing at the bit to find out about it. The lesson to be gleaned here is twofold. One, the backstory must matter. If it doesn't matter in a way that moves the plot forward, it doesn't deserve to be told. And two, it must be artfully placed within the story, so readers understand its importance to the plot and can't wait to discover the secrets in your characters' pasts. Mm -hmm.